Hi, it's Ron Ake from Ask Audio. We're here at NAM. I'm here at Roly with Ruben. How you doing, man? Yeah, very good. Thanks for having me. Or, thank you. Thanks for the interview. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're going to be looking at uh, the Roly blocks, which we know about already. We've looked at the review. You've probably read it uh, on Ask Audio. It's very popular. Uh, these devices can be bought in Apple stores even. Uh, that kind of like popular. They're about uh, multi-dimensional uh, control using the Noise app. But there's more that it can do, right? Uh, today, uh, Roly, uh, you've released um, a, a beta uh, to use uh, to, for blocks to use uh, to control Ableton. Uh, yeah. So basically, we uh, we've announced the release of uh, Dashboard for Blocks, Blocks Dashboard, um, which allows you to use the Lightpad block with whatever um, digital audio workstation or third-party software or hardware you want um, in a really flexible, versatile way. Okay. Well. Show us then like, how, how this is working with Ableton. I mean, this isn't going to be available right out of the blocks for people to download now, right? Right. Um, so the beta is going to be released um, probably in a couple weeks. Um, and, then, and then eventually we'll have the full version released. And it'll be available to anyone that has blocks. Cool. Excellent. Let's have a look at what's going on here then. Cool. Um, so because, as we were saying, blocks is a multi-dimensional expressive controller. Um, and it also has a grid of LEDs. You can really use it for lots of different things, right? So. If I want to just use it as a synth, I can, right, with this grid of notes. And here I'm using um, Yuhi Diva, which is a really uh, amazing uh, third-party synth. So I can actually use some of these dimensions of touch that normally we use with our software in this third-party environment, right? So I'm opening up the filter there. You know, I have this independent pitch bend control and all of these things. Or I can use it to control, you know, a drum rack, right? If I want to use it in a, in a more one-dimensional or two-dimensional way. Right, I can do things like that. Um, I can also use this light pad block here as a bank of faders. So it can actually be like, um, it can be my mixer, right? So you can see here that I'm controlling the volume levels. I can control um, effect sends, all kinds of things. And I can even use it as just a blank XYZ controller for effects. So you can see this auto filter here. I'm opening it up, closing it, moving through all these things. So if I want to start recording a song, right, I can use it do everything on the light pad blocks um, without actually interacting with the computer or using any other, um, any other hardware. So for example, if I just start this uh, metronome going, then I can record um, this Yuhi Diva into a loop. Right, so now I have this part looping back, and I'm using this half of the block as a loop station and this bottom part as drums, right? So now if I want to record a drum part, just wait for the loop to go around. Right, so now I have this drum part looping back. Um, and I can actually, now I can use this if I want to, to control like the effects. Right, so I have this really fine-tuned control over how much LFO I'm using and all these different things, right? So it's really mappable now um, in a really exciting way, right? Because we're not um, stuck in this iOS environment, although our app is extremely powerful. Um, for, you know, coming up with ideas on the go, recording songs. Now you can really make your setup the way that you're most comfortable, you know? You can design your own templates um, and then map them to all of your blocks in whatever way you want. So it really can, in a lot of ways, replace pretty much, you know, any dedicated controller that you would have with this flexible controller. Thank you so much, Ruben. Sorry for the background noise here. We've got performance starting with Jordan Rudez. I blame him. Um, which is why I can barely hear anything. Wow. Okay. So uh, that, that's basically a dashboard for blocks, uh, and the beat is coming out in February, I think. That's correct. Cool. All right, stay tuned to Ask Audio, and we'll give you more information soon.